gonna watch a video together and then chat about it. When I feel like I was a good mom and did everything I can to show my kids I loved them and be there for them. And why does this generation of kids just turn their back on their parents? Like I would never treat my parents the way some of the things have been said to me um, from my kids. And I don't understand it. And it's everywhere. It's absolutely everywhere. My friends, patients that I see at work, you know, story after story after story after, you know, my daughter doesn't talk to me, my son doesn't talk to me, like just so much entitlement these days. And it's just so flipping heartbreaking. Like it was so much easier when the kids were little. Like I just didn't think that my life would be where it's at at 50. I love my kids, but why is it this hard? Why, where's the respect at for parents and appreciation for all they've done for you your entire life? Like, I don't get it. The concept of no contact has been going around a lot lately, and so I want to answer this question genuinely as a therapist who sees a lot of clients who have got no contact. I think one of the largest things to recognize as a parent of an adult child is generational differences. So for starters, people who are in their 50s, 60s plus who have adult children grew up in a generation where it was very common for children to be seen, not heard, and respect equated to just acquiescing to whatever your parents kind of wanted. Respect often meant you didn't have boundaries, whereas mental health now is and continues to be a large conversation. Relationships with family members are one of the only relationships in which people are encouraged to make amends with people who have been abusive towards them, who have manipulated them, who consistently cross their boundaries, etc. And as a therapist, what I often hear in these situations is that from the child's perspective, there's been multiple attempts to repair the relationship, to explain the behaviors that are hurtful and harmful, yet the behaviors continue. Or there just isn't the safety or the space to have that discussion in the first place. Another thing is that in terms of gratitude for the parent taking care of them or just, you know, creating them, I think that is often seen to be synonymous with I will have a relationship with you forever. Someone can be grateful for their life, for their parents, for the efforts that have been made, but also decide that a relationship is not for them. And that isn't to take away from the fact that I imagine that it's very hurtful for parents. And at the same time, what also exists is that it's hurtful typically for the child to go no contact as well. But while it's typically hurtful for the child to make that decision, it's also often safer from their perspective to make that decision. I think it's important to come to these conversations with the sense that you are not entitled to a relationship with your child just because you birthed them. It is something that you have to earn and continuously work at, and that goes both ways.